Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking cheesy chicken nuggets. So let's start cooking. Now we're going to use our magic mix processor to mix the two kinds of cheese that we have here. I'm going to put in 80 grams of mozzarella cheese as well as 80 grams of cheddar cheese. So I'm going to blend them together now. And now it's done. This is how it looks like. Now we'll blend the chicken. Now I'm going to blend the chicken. There's 350 grams of chicken thigh. You can use chicken breast if you want to. Put them in. Half a teaspoon of mixed Italian herbs. One teaspoon of crushed black pepper. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of fresh ginger juice. Put the lid on and we'll blend it now. So it's done now. Let's have a look. This is how it looks like. And now I'm going to show you how to put the cheese inside this blended meat. I've divided the meat mixture or blended chicken meat into 15 equal sizes like this and the cheese also. Make sure you pack the cheese in like this otherwise um, it will be very difficult to actually put the fillings into the chicken meat. So take one piece of the meat up, put it in the palm, press down the, try to press it down a little bit because we're going to feed the cheese in. Okay, just press it down. Put one of the cheese balls inside here. With your index finger and your thumb, we will slowly push the meat up to cover the cheese, like this. So just do it slowly. Just slowly push it up, it will go up. Important thing is, when you wrap this up, make sure there's no crack, otherwise when you deep fry this, the cheese will just ooze out. This is a very, very popular dish among kids, you know, who don't like cheese, right? And with the breadcrumbs, crispy on the outside, gluey on the inside, savory, and it's really, really fragrant. So once you've done this, all you have to do is just roll it up now. Make sure you cover up any cracks, because with cracks, the cheese will actually ooze out. So just roll them for a while. Make sure there's no more cracks, and you don't see the cheese on the outside like this, very smooth. Okay, if you like it to be in the shape of balls, this will be done. If you want it to be in cube size, we will do it in cubes. Just tap it down a while like this, on each side of it. Simple. Depending on your preference, it can be ball, it can be cubes. All right, then we'll continue with the rest. And I'll show you what we're gonna do after this. Now we are going to prepare the chicken cheese cubes. We need to coat them with plain flour, egg wash, followed by bread crumbs or panko powder before we deep fry them. Let me show you how to do it. On all sides, just slightly coat them with flour. Make sure you coat all corners or all sides of it. Okay, This will act as a barrier also that the cheese will not ooze out that easily. So after you have coated this, just shake it a little bit just to get the excess flour out. Dip it in the egg wash. Normally what I like to do is, I like to dip them all in flour before I do this, but I'm just showing you how to do this now. So once it's coated in the egg wash, we put it in the panko powder or breadcrumbs. Okay. Make sure it's coated with the panko powder. This will create the crispiness that all kids will love. And I believe adults will too. Pat them down a little bit so the breadcrumbs will stay on the chicken. So once this is done, we'll put this aside and we'll continue with the rest. Heat up a pan of oil. When you put in your bamboo chopstick and you can see bubbles rising up, that means it's done ready. I'm using medium heat now. I'm using the La Gourmet Shogun pan for this. It's a non-stick pan, very durable, which I like. Once the oil is hot enough, we'll deep fry the chicken cheese cube. Remember, it has to be on medium heat, not on high heat, because we don't want to burn the product that we are having here. Slowly slide them in. This is going to be so good. I'm going to fry them in two batches, so about 7-8 pieces of bag. Keep a close eye on this because we don't want to burn this. Turn them around. Okay, we just want them to have a achieve a golden brown 
color this cook pretty fast because the meat is actually kind of a uh, thin after we put in the cheese ball almost done already as you can see the color is getting golden brown like this which is very very nice so now this is done already we will just uh, remove this from oil and fry the second batch look at how beautiful this are I finished cooking the cheesy chicken nuggets so now let's have a taste mm. wow look at how good this is I hope you like our recipe do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.